Bachelor of Management Studies department. I have with me my colleague, Advocate Sunil Shah, and we are glad to introduce you to this uh, session on IPR awareness, which is organized by the Department of Bachelor of Management Studies under SST College of Arts and Commerce. And this session is in association with Indian Patent Office Mumbai, which is under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry of Government of India. Friends, creativity and invention are the two important essence of any, any organization. And to safeguard this creativity and invention, a number of copyright rights, patent rights have been formulated by the government and many other agencies. So to know more about these agencies and their working and to have a general awareness about IPR, today we have invited Ms. Ujwal Jaipal Singh from the examiner of patents and she's the examiner of patents and uh, design and she represents the Indian Patent Office Mumbai which is under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. First and foremost I would like to thank founder principal Dr. J.C. Purswani and IQSC coordinator Dr. Kushbu Purswani for always encouraging us to take up such innovative uh, initiatives for the benefit of the student fraternity. And Madam, we also thank you for graciously accepting our invitation to be a guest speaker for this session. Um, so once again, on behalf of me and my colleague, Advocate Sunil Shah, sir, we welcome you to this session. And Madam, I would now like to hand over this session to you now. Over to you now. Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for having me today. Myself, Ujwal, examiner of patents and designs, currently working in Patent Office, Mumbai. So as we all know that India is celebrating its 75th anniversary under the banner of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. So basically, government of India has taken an initiative of NIPAM, which is National Intellectual Property Awareness Mission. And under this mission, awareness and training should be imparted to 1 million students about the intellectual property rights. As a part of this mission, we will enlighten the students how they can create, how they can convert their ideas into innovations and then further transfer them into assets through the protection of their IPR rights. So basically, the purpose of this uh, program today is to let you aware about, about different intellectual properties which are there so that you could go and protect them as per their respective fields. So what happens generally is students know that uh, they have the, something in their mind, right? But they do not know how to commercialize those things. So basically, through protection, students can get the idea how they can create the opportunity from that invention or from their ideas. Now, it is not restricted that ideas could be specific to certain uh, scientific field only. There could be multiple uh, disciplines in which ideas can be generated. It could be in artistic field. It could be in some another field. All we need to know is we have to protect those ideas to get them commercialized and to make them as an opportunity. So let's begin with the presentation now. Uh, I am sharing my screen. Just let me know whether it is visible or not. Is the screen visible, ma'am? Hello? Uh, is the screen visible? Hello? 
Am I audible? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Should I continue? Hello? 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 Yes, ma'am. Uh, is the screen visible, ma'am? Yes. yes, yes, yes. It's Actually, visible. I was waiting for your reply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Actually, uh, I have put myself on mute now, ma'am. So, okay. Uh, one more thing, ma'am. Uh, yeah. I request the students. So, can they answer the questions during the presentation? Because in that way, the presentation would be more effective. Oh, this is what the purpose of this presentation is. Oh. Is it possible? No, ma'am. Uh, one to one, we can. We, it is not possible. What since this is a live uh, YouTube screening, so we are okay. getting the question. Whatever questions are there uh, for that answers, we can get it on the uh, this thing comment section. Okay, okay. So, so students can uh, post the answers in the comment. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, okay. So uh, because at the end we have a quiz, so I request all the students to be active or please be attentive during the presentation it is very basic you can correlate it with your day to day life okay 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 ma'am no problem ma so as we all know that uh, today's uh, session will be based on intellectual properties so uh, first of all you need to know about property and then we will uh, 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 step by step go on to the definition of intellectual property now first thing is what are property we all uh, changes, transforms properties. We do the business with the properties. We share lands. Okay. But what is the real meaning of property? Now, property is something on which we can have ownership. Like we are using mobile phone and we can claim that it is our mobile phone. It means it is our property. So anything on which a person can have control or a person can claim ownership, it is considered as a property. Now, basically, property is divided into two categories. One is tangible property and another is intangible property. Now, in tangible property, we have those properties which we can measure, like movable cars and immovable buildings. But on the other hand, there are some properties which are intangible properties. You cannot measure them. Like in a classroom, your professor teaches you. But do you... Uh, measure the amount of the service that is provided to you by your teachers. No, you can't measure them. So those kind of properties are considered as intangible properties. Like doctor gives services to the patient, nurses treats patient, nurse, nurses take care of the patients. So that kind of service, it is intangible, it is hidden. You can't measure them. So this is considered as intangible property. Now, there are some ideas that are there in the person's mind now human being how are they different or other creatures of the universe because they have something which is called brain now brains make them some somewhat different from rest of the species that's why they are called homo sapiens now because of brain they have the capability to think to innovate so in that manner the ideas are there in their mind so the ideas, now can you measure the idea? Right now I am thinking something. So can you have some amount? Can you measure how much heavy the idea is? What is the cost of that idea? No. So that is what is called intangible property. Now, whenever we call something as a property, then a certain thing that clicks into your mind is that property hai to paisa se kuch to relation hona chahiye. So it means that ideas, when you convert your ideas into something which can have the ownership, then it is considered as intellectual property. 
so ideas when combined with some property it is called intellectual property now moving on to the next slide so intellectual means brain and property means something on which a person can have ownership in whole intellectual property means any idea or expression that have some commercial value like somehow i have a idea of suppose i have the idea of creating a mask right now the situation of covid 19 is there so in order to <coughs> overcome that situation a my idea is revolving in my mind and what idea is it ki we ha i have to create a mask which is not there which is biodegradable which is a uh, 100% effective against the germs and viruses uh, which do not have side effects like suffocation uh, loss, uh, heavy breathing so if i am uh, if some idea is there in my mind regarding the mask and i will implement some idea how do i implement that idea i will create that mask so idea plus that mask that mask is a property so as a whole it is considered as intellectual property now one more example is there that i can give you which is your mobile phone you all uses mobile phones right now so at some part of time a person can have idea of creating a device through which you can communicate you can do video chatting you can do video conferencing whatsapp chatting so it the idea was there in somebody's mind but when that idea is implemented into a device then a device plus that idea it is considered as intellectual property now like any other form of uh, property intellectual property is an asset and it can be bought it can be sold it can be licensed or exchanged hai na jaise hum lands kharidte hain हम फार्म हाउसेस खरीदते हैं उसी तरीके से हम इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टीज को भी खरीद सकते हैं बेच सकते हैं ट्रांसफॉर्म कर सकते हैं एक्सचेंज कर सकते हैं सो बेसिकली इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू कैटेगरीज वन इज इंडस्ट्रियल प्रॉपर्टी एंड अनदर इज कॉपीराइट सो इन इंडस्ट्रियल प्रॉपर्टी एज वी एज द नेम सजेस्ट क्या हो सकता है इंडस्ट्रियल प्रॉपर्टी जो इंडस्ट्रीज में मैन्युफैक्चर करें ऐसी ऐसे इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टीज को हम इंडस्ट्रियल प्रॉपर्टीज बोलते हैं जैसे कि व्हाट यू कैन मैन्युफैक्चर इन इंडस्ट्री एनी काइंड ऑफ डिवाइस लाइक मोबाइल फोन गैजेट्स यू कैन मैन्युफैक्चर देम दैट इज कंसीडर्ड एज इंडस्ट्रियल प्रॉपर्टी एंड इन इंडस्ट्रियल प्रॉपर्टी वी हैव बेसिकली फोर मेजर इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी व्हिच आर पेटेंट्स फॉर इन्वेंशन देन ट्रेडमार्क्स फॉर लोगोस देन इंडस्ट्रियल डिजाइंस एंड देन ज्योग्राफिकल इंडिकेशंस now moving on to the another property which is copyright now copyright is somewhat different from industrial property it covers the literary work and artistic work literary work as i have told you in the beginning of this presentation that it's not necessary that intellectual properties are there only in the field of science and technology only you can have properties in the field of art also so copyrights basically covers those property which are related to the artistic field now today's in today's lecture we will be discussing this uh, five intellectual properties which are the patents for inventions then <coughs> designs for uh, for outermost appearances then trademarks for logos then geographical indications and the copyrights now we will discuss them one by one so till now what we have covered is we have covered the basic definition of properties and intellectual property as a whole and we have discussed some examples like mobile phone how is it uh, considered as an intellectual property the pen we use it is also the intellectual property the clothes you are wearing it is also the intellectual property okay now moving on to the main uh, purpose of this uh, presentation which is intellectual property rights so <coughs> basically these rights allow the thinker or the creator of the intellectual property to have benefits from its creations so once you have the idea in your mind so the first thing you have to do is you have to protect your idea why do you need that because if that is not the case then somebody will come and copy your idea without your permission then the, the originality the hard work that you did 
on that idea it get lost and you can't claim your ownership on that property so how do you protect your properties or your ideas the thing is intellectual property rights will help you to do that basically these are the legal rights which results from intellectual activity in the industrial scientific literary and artistic field and like any other form of property these rights allows the creators of the intellectual property to get benefited from their own invention or creation like i want to discuss you a example suppose your mobile phone get lost or your smart device get lost somebody snatches the mobile or it get lost during traveling so what you do you do you go and file an fir for that so in that the police officials will ask you about the some number maybe emi number so why is he asking you that number because if you provide him that number he will get the confirmation that okay that mobile phone belongs to you it means that emi number or that document is a proof that the particular device is your property in the same way when you protect your idea then a proof is given to you and that proof serve as a base that that idea belongs to you and that is your property uh, rights do the same thing with the creator now what are the objectives of intellectual property rights basically to make the peace and harmony in the uh, society rights are given and you you know rights are there in every field customers rights are there consumers rights uh, rights are there so in the same manner intellectual property rights are there but these rights are basically linked to the economic sector of our society now we know that there is uh, imitation in the field of industries like if there is a one feature in a device like we all know uses this mobile phone smart devices at the time uh, one feature comes into a device the same uh, feature the same company belongs to the same field companies that belongs to same field they started uh, imitating that features to their devices ha na jab koi company hai jo same field se belong karti hai jaise hi mobile field, uh, phone mein kisi mein uh, koi naya feature aaya to baki sab companies kya karenge they started to copy that feature in their own devices so to protect it usko protect karne ke liye jo company hai jiska original idea hai वो इन राइट्स की हेल्प लेती है और इन राइट्स की हेल्प लेने से दे कैन प्रोटेक्ट अदर फ्रॉम कॉपिंग देयर आइडियाज सो बेसिकली दिस राइट्स एक्ट इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ एक्ट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसी एंड इट इनकरेज फेयर ट्रेडिंग व्हिच वुड फर्दर कंट्रीब्यूट टू द इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ कंट्री and do you know that uh, where the most of the companies in which country do they invest those country which have proper ipr laws only on those country they come and invest why because they know if the ipr rights are there in proper enforcement in a particular country only then their ideas or their features will be protected and one more example is that do you know why these uh, iphones or apple phones apple devices why they are so much uh, expensive the main reason is that they have unique features in their devices which would not be found in any other device so that's what that is what makes them unique and that's why they are uh, expensive and one more thing is they have protected their rights as soon as they launch one feature in a device they go and file for the patent protection and once they get the patent protection then nobody else will copy their idea or copy that feature and then they are left as only company which have those particular unique feature so now why why does uh, these rights comes into picture the thing is we know whenever i think uh, most of uh, the higher education institute they uh, last uh, they provide one year project to the final year students so whenever you are given a project then what do you do you spent a whole year doing uh, working on a topic a specific idea 
so you know while you work on that idea then lot of resources are needed and at the same time your hard work is required so in order to get the benefit or get the full full fledged financial outcomes of what you have done of your hard work your labor your brain that you used during the project you have to protect that idea and once you get protection then you can get the financial benefits also so once you get uh, any type of intellectual property rights you can protect your idea first thing second thing is you can exclude others from getting any kind of benefits from that idea and then you can easily utilize that or commercialize that idea without any fear now moving on to the first and foremost intellectual property which is copyrights so basically copyrights as the name suggests are the legal rights that are given to the creator in the literary field artistic field cinematographic field musical and dramatic field so you might have seen this c type of symbol on the third or fourth page of your notebook so basically this symbol indicates that that particular artistic work or that particular work is protected under copyright and you might have heard many things related to the youtube uh, on the youtube related to the so singers issue that that particular song is copied and there is copyright issues uh, on uh, that particular song so it means that all the types of songs the lyrical part it is protected under copyright so whatever the domain of copyright you can have copyright issues on that only <coughs> now what is the utility once you get the copyright what thing are there that is provided to you first thing the copyright gives the creator of the original work exclusive rights to it usually for a limited period of time now suppose you have created your own story aapne koi novel likha koi kahani likhi so when you have protected your novel or your written literature work then you are the only person who can claims that writing of that book but for that you need to register yourself under copyright second thing is copyright does not covers the idea and information themselves but in which in manner in which they are expressed now i want until or unless i can't express my idea i can't get copyright on it like i have to make a sketch or i have to make a painting that but that my idea is there in my mind so until or unless i can't express something <coughs> i can't get copyright on it now you have heard of the mona lisa painting you know it is the subject matter of copyright why because it is the artistic work and artistic work are protected under copyrights so another example is uh, you might have seen one movie which is uh, two states and most of you know about it that it is taken from a very famous novel of bhagat uh, chetan bhagat right so since the storyline is taken from the novel of writer chetan bhagat it means that chetan bhagat has already copyrights in that movie so the because he is the original creator of that work so if you have created some story and if somebody is utilizing it in one way or the other then automatically you have rights or the creator or the first person have rights in that particular type of work and in future also if you want to modify that work then you have to take permission of the first author only aap bina permission ke bina original writer ki permission ke you can't modify his work so that is the significance of copyright now what is covered by the copyrights what are the subject matters of copyright these basically these six are the subject matters of copyrights which are the literary work films dramatics musical work artistic work and sound recording in literary work 
even uh, during the phd the phd scholars have to submit a thesis so they always go and register for their copyright so uh, copyright covers the literary work it could be the books the question papers the newspapers the software programs all these are the literary work in fact the lyrics of the songs if you have some uh, book which covers the lyrics and if you are a writer suppose and you are writing a book maybe poems then you can always go and register them under copyright <coughs> now another intellectual property is artistic work which is which covers the drawings paintings and one very good example of it is mona lisa painting so you can always protect your paintings through copyright another is uh, musical work and dramatic work so most of you have done uh, 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 nukkad nataks and face uh, expressive shows so all these are what these are dramatic works and these are again protected under copyright now there is one more right which is related to the copyright and it is also called as uh, broadcaster right so you have seen uh, kapil sharma so right so it it is on which channel sony tv only you found that the live broadcasting is there only on sony tv what does it mean it means that there are some broadcasting organizations like z tv sony tv colors z news star news these all organization have taken broadcasters right on those particular shows so once you get the broadcaster rise on that show it means that only you are the authority who can air that show so this is how the channels work and this is how the serials work now there are uh, some more rights which are related to the copyrights which is also known as performers right so these rights are given to the actors singers musicians dancers acrobats jugglers conjurers snake charmers and those who performs on the circus so uh, right now i am what i am giving you the lecture again this is the way i am performing so i have the performers right on the way i am presenting this presentation to you now another subject matter is the ppt that i am presenting to you so ppt is what P ppt is a kind of literary work right so the one who has created this presentation he has copyrights on this uh, presentation and i do have the performers right so i think this concept is clear to you on which domains you can go and register for copyright now there is one very famous case i want to discuss it over here this is regarding the copyright case in 1997 abhineta the literary work it is a kind of story that he has been created and its name was abhineta now later found out that the story line was copied by the yashraj film which is called fan they have copied the same story line of abhineta movie then what the creator of abhineta movie did they go and file the case against them copyright case so what happened actually what should have happened that fan movie should have lost the case why because they have uh, they have uh, copied the story from abhineta movie without their permission but in reality what happened is that they lost the case the creator of abhineta lost the case because they do not have the proof they do not have the document since they do not have registered under copyright their work they do not have registered their work under copyright so they do not have the proof to make themselves clear about that their work is belonging to them only so in that case abhineta movie lost the case and fan movie was released so this is how when you are creating your idea or when you are converting or transforming your idea into some uh, literary work artistic work or painting or cinematographic work then first thing you should do is immediately you should register your work under copyright so that nobody else would copy you and if they do so you can 
always shoo them in the court. Another, intele another intellectual property is industrial designs. Now, as the name suggests, industrial designs covers the outermost aspects of the article. Suppose you have you want to buy a bike. Now you have two bikes. You have two choices. You have to select between two bikes. Everything was is same for both these two bikes. But the only difference is there in their appearances. One is one has some good looks and another doesn't have. So obviously you will select the one with good looks. So it means that the looks and the outermost appearances are making that thing more valuable. It means it is the idea of looks or appearances that is making, uh, making it as an intellectual property. Now, anything which is related to the appearances, it could be shape, it could be patterns, it could be lines, it could be colors. It is protected under designs. <coughs> now, but there are some conditions so that you can get your idea protected under design. What are these conditions? They should relate to shapes, configuration and patterns, first thing. Then they should be applied to the articles. It, it is not the case that you have something in your mind and you can't apply to the article. The, uh, the shape or the patterns that you are thinking, it should be applicable somewhere to the article. And the main and important thing is it should be new and original. It should not be copied by anyone. So, you have seen that here on the screen, there are multiple kind of, multiple designs of water bottles with different colors and patterns and shapes. So in fact, if you change these grid lines, these lines, these patterns, again, it is considered as some in, uh, different intellectual property and some different designs. And you can always register them under designs and get the intellectual property rights on it. Now, how do you know that your intellectual property is uh, protected under designs? The thing is, there is always a kind of number on the article. You always find some number. Or if the number is not there, you will find RD sign on it. It means that that particular design is protected under designs. And once you get the design registered, then you can always deter the potential infringer and help to take re uh, legal action against him. Now, another intellectual property is trademarks. So, trademarks, as the name suggests, are the sign marks or service marks that helps the customer to distinguish between competing goods or services and are major part of the goodwill of a company. Now, Everyone can detect these symbols. So basically what companies do is whenever they begins to manufacture their product, they, for advertisement, they select some particular symbol and those symbol, symbol directly represent that company or the quality of company. So symbols help them to advertise or to market their product. And these symbols are protected under trademarks. So whenever you got thirsty and you want to drink mineral water, what you, which water would you buy? Of course, bisleri. So it means that word bisleri has some value, have some quality that is, list, uh, that is linked to a particular brand or particular company. And uh, that company's, uh, that uh, logo or that uh, word is helping that company to advertise or to market their product. Now, the, all these types of things which help the com uh, company to market their product, these are protected under trademarks. Now, you can have multiple type of subject matters which can be protected under trademark. First is brand names and taglines. Like I recently told you about Bistleri. It is a name. Then Adidas is also the name. So this could be considered as the subject matter of trademark. Now then there is a certification mark. You must hear about uh, uh, ISI symbol. So it means that 
it is a certification marks then sound recordings there is sound which is ting 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 so once that you hear that sound what which company name strikes in your mind of course britannia so you can always protect these kind of uh, things under the subject matter of trademarks so in future if somebody from you wants to start their own business then first thing what should you do is you have to create some name to your company and that name should be short and representative and in order to do the marketing of its product what you do is you choose some logo and that logo or that company name it should be protected by trademark <coughs> now when you came across some <coughs> cars or vehicles then from their logos only you can detect that okay this is bmw or this is mercedes or this is hyundai right so these help them help the companies to market or to advertise their product again there are some criteria you can't get trademark on each and everything first and foremost thing to every intellectual property right is your idea should be new and original aapko kisi bhi field mein agar intellectual property rights ko lene hain to aapko you have to make your own original idea you do not come to us and said that okay this is my idea and if we found that this idea has been copied then we could not provide you intellectual property rights so your idea should be new <coughs> now what are the conditions to get trademark first thing is it should be graphically represented the uh, the logos that you came across all the logos are have some representation graphical representation then it should be distinguishable or distinctive how like suppose you want to start your own shoes company okay now what will happen is and you are giving it name is which is abibas and you came to us and ask ki we need to get trademark on it now can I, um, as a authority are we able to give you trademark on it no we can't give you trademark why because there is one shoe company whose name is adidas which is sound similar to what you are coming with the name with which you are coming to us now in future it is considered as imitation of the already known trademark or already known symbol so you are not allowed to do these kind of imitations okay so when you are creating your trademark your trademark should be new and original it should not sound similar to other trademarks there are some more conditions which you should avoid first thing is you should avoid giving religious symbols to your logos then heroes or laudatory words moving on to the next intellectual property which is geographical indications and as the name suggests these inko hindi mein vyapar chinh bhi kehte hain bhaugolik chinh sorry bhaugolik chinh it means these types of uh, indications are related to some geography now every place have some specific features like in india there is diversity of nature so each and every part have some different kind of soil different type of weather condition different type of water so depending upon that there is some different taste of fruits and vegetables and due to the specific taste and due to the unique taste these products got famous and popular now again if you have if you, in your area if that particular taste is there then you can always come and register them under geographical indication so what basically geographical indication is it is a sign used on goods that have a specific geographical origin and possesses quality or reputation that is solely due to the place of origin a geographical mm. indication is a name or a sign used on certain products which corresponds to specific geographical location or origin okay 
so there are some example of geographical indications hello madam can i speak uh, sorry to interrupt in between madam in mumbai yes, uh, mumbai is famous for vada pav or mumbai is also famous for uh, misal uh, pav so you are sir, saying I, uh, okay sir i will answer you please uh, no let problem. me complete this presentation uh, yeah. okay you can write in the chat box i will answer you one by one every query will be solved okay now uh, there is one thing which is darjeeling tea you know this is the geographical indication uh, which was first given in india in 2004 why is it famous because due to the weather condition over there in darjeeling the taste in the tea is very different from rest of the parts of the india theek hai isi tarike se aapki madhya pradesh mein ratlami sev prachalit hai usko gi tag mila hua hai इसी तरीके से तमिलनाडु में राइट दीज ऑल आर द फेमस प्रोडक्ट्स विच हैव गॉट जीआई टैग्स एंड वी कीप्स ऑन अपडेटिंग विद द जोग्राफिकल इंडिकेशन टैग्स नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी विच इज पेटेंट्स इन हिंदी इट मींस ए कस्व which further means ekadhikar now patents are one of the oldest form of intellectual property and this system started in 1700 now main aim of the this patent system is to encourage the economic and technological development by rewarding the intellectual creativity like i at the during the beginning of this presentation i discussed you about the mobile phone this is what mobile phone is a technology so how to encourage this technology it is done by patenting that invention okay now what is the definition of intellect what is the definition of patents patents is the intellectual property rights related to the inventions it is the exclusive and monopoly rights granted to the inventor by the government to use the patented invention for a limited period of time thus preventing others from making using importing or selling in exchange of full disclosure of his invention now let me explain it in simple words aap koi avishkar karte ho any kind of invention it is protected by patents now patents are rights intellectual property rights and these are given by the government agar aapne koi invention ki hai aap kisi aapne aap koi inventor ho to aap patents ke through apni invention ko protect kara sakte now aapko ye rights kaun dega aapko ye rights wahan ki government degi kitne saal ke liye aapko ye rights milenge it is for 20 years only and now you will ask ki ma'am why do we need patents why do we need these right the thing is when you are inventing something only you know how much hard work have you done on that experiment okay on that invention now once you get those rights what you could do is you can always prevent others from copying your right and but in return of it you have to clearly disclose your invention to the public in the return only then you can get patent now some basic requirements are there it is not clear it is not easy to get patent there are some requirements that you have to fulfill the first thing is novelty second thing is inventive step then industrial applicability at the beginning of the presentation i mentioned you about two kind of intellectual property one is industrial and another is copyright <coughs> now patent is a part of industrial property it means your invention jo bhi aapne abhishkar kiye hain wo industries mein manufacture karne ke capable hone chahiye only then you can get protection under the sub domain of industrial property now first thing is first basic requirement is novelty and second is inventive step i will come to it later first you have to know the difference between invention and 
discovery most of the time that we got cases regarding patents people are tell us ki we have we have found a gold while farming in the field uh, and we need to register it under patent we need to get rights on uh, we need to get ipr rights and in that case we deny them we do not allow them to get rights why because is it the creation of human mind gold kisi human brain ki creation hai no it is something which is already there in nature human beings have not created it so you can get any kind of intellectual property right that we have discussed till now only on the human creations on which human mind is invested okay something which is naturally found you can't get protection on it you can't get ipr rights on it for example if somebody come to you and ask for protection of a gene sequence that they have recently found out for a particular disease ki ye gene sequence is particular gene ko correspond karti hai and they they said that we now <coughs> want to get ip we now want to get patents on it then we could not allow them but if you have created your own gene sequence by some uh, modification by some chemical reaction then of course you can get patent right on it but again the, you have to fulfill the those three requirements first is in uh, you know novelty second is inventive step and third is industrial applicability now for novelty it means that your idea should be new completely new idea second is inventive step it means <coughs> your idea is somewhat upgradation of already existing idea and third thing is industrial applicability now what is industrial applicability mean it means it should be capable of manufacturing in industry now we will discuss them one by one elaborately first thing is novelty now what novelty is at some point of time there is no system like wifi there is no system like bluetooth so at that time when the this, uh, this concept of wifi and bluetooth was introduced it is completely new thing so it is considered as novel or new now again the discovery of mobile phones after landline phones landline phone is different now mobile phone is completely different it is considered as new now when the electricity was discovered then earlier no thing like electricity was there so that is considered as new okay then there was a, a train which runs on magnetic field so that concept is new so these are the new thing but most of the time patents are granted in inventive step category why because it is always a, a relatively easy to have the modification on the same existing technology as compared to inventing something new now what inventive step means there are there are two categories on which inventive step is classified first is the economic significance and second is the technical advancement now on economic significance it means your product should have some economic value how if now you are modifying a drug a drug is there with you and now you are doing some kind of chemical modification is in it such that its shelf life is increasing now earlier it has only two months shelf life and now it has two year of shelf life now what will happen is customer will buy which drug the one with more shelf life okay so this is the case of economic significance second thing is technical advancement earlier which kind of bicycle do you use normal bicycles but now we have gear bicycles then bicycles are coming up with uh, disc brakes so this is kind of technical advancement so if you are coming up with some new advancement then also you can get patent on it this is the first patent that is filed in india it is uh, granted to alfred george depanning a civil engineer for his efficient pankha pulling machine in 1856 now it is not necessary ki aapko patent sirf complex cheezon pe hi milega 
at some point of time in uh, that short paper pin it was also protected and it was also granted patent so it is not uh, compulsory that you have to make a complex invention only then you can get patent all that is required it your invention is something which is not there in the public domain <coughs> and you have not copied that invention from any sources <coughs> sorry now another example is you all know this celebrity right he is michael jackson you know why he is famous he is famous for his moves his dance and his step was there he can lean against gravity and he could not fall in fact it was beyond certain limit the magic was there in his shoes only there is some kind of hook arrangement in his shoes which help them from falling to the ground and at that time it is the it is around 1993 at that time he got patent on his shoes because the the structure or the design of his shoes is was completely new and once he got patent now what benefits do he enjoy agar kisi ko patents mil gaya kisi product pe to unko kya kya benefit milenge now he is the owner of that product he can control who can buy or sell these uh, his shoes he can control who can manufacture the shoes so this is how he will become the patent uh, he will utilize his ideas through patents so this is all about the intellectual property the five intellectual property that we have discussed now in short in brief we will uh, summarize all the things first is if your idea and you are expressing your idea then you will protect it under copyright for example right now i am presenting you this is a way of expression now my video is or my presentation is protected under copyright second is ideas plus innovations plus inventions so if you are creating something which is related to the technology which is modification to the already existing uh, things then it is protected under patents now if your idea is related to the quality or identity then it is protected under trademarks hai na taki aapko kisi company ki quality ka pata chale koi aisa symbol koi aisa sign jisse aapko kisi company ki uh, image ka pata chale that is protected under trademarks and last thing is if your idea is related to the outermost appearance then it is protected under designs so this is all that is uh, uh, related to the five intellectual property rights we have discussed now uh, i request all of you to be to please give answers to these questions <coughs> so you can write in the chat box also ma'am before we yes, proceed to the question uh, one student has asked a question uh, yes, in the chat box can i uh, present it to you please yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yeah one okay. student uh, neeraj more has asked can we take patent about any particular services services uh, uh, sir i want to question you in this manner uh, can you manufacture the services in industry no because patent is industrial property so you can't get patent on services okay okay ma'am thank you so much ma'am uh, still some of the students are uh, writing the the same questions okay, okay. Uh, we could uh, wait in the meanwhile ma'am uh, you can continue with your quiz question ma'am okay they can uh, write in the chat box i'm looking at it yes ma'am the screen is visible ma'am yes yes it's perfectly visible ma'am okay so one second students in in the meanwhile if you have 
further questions for madam you can put it across on the com in the comments box so that we can okay. uh, deliver the same to madam so can you answer which intellectual property is there on figure 1 which ip is there in figure 1 it is a mona lisa painting and in the chat box ma'am uh, the questions uh, will be visible now madam one of the student had replied the answer as copyright is it right ma'am yes sir sir i can't see the chat box okay ma'am just uh, uh, i'm changing the settings ma'am okay okay sure sure madam one of the student has written patent mona lisa painting it is what it is a artistic work ha na i have given you example also when i started with copyrights so it is protected under copyrights copyrights the correct answer is copyrights copyright. now moving on to the second figure where do you protect it it is a sculpture and where do you protect the sculptures students you can post your answers on in the comment session sculptures are what <clears throat> sculpture is a kind of artistic work okay so where do you protect the artistic work madam himanshu kubal has answered it as copyright yes the answer is correct artistic works are protected under copyright now i have a question once again on the second figure also can't you protect it under designs the sculpture can't you protect the sculpture under designs madam uh, that is a very uh, nice question is it okay if the design of this sculpture is something unique uh, can have person has to uh, rights to be registered can a person register two rights one with copyright and second with the design because if you see the ipr as a whole it has uh, related to copyright designs patents varieties semiconductors and everything so every now and then there is innovations in ipr So sir you can it? have yes sir sir you can have multiple intellectual property rights on a single product okay it is it is not necessary then that only one okay so this symbol that is there it is protected under what it is protected under trademarks then the technology it is protected under patents okay and the outermost appearance the looks the length breadth the features these are protected under designs so we can have multiple intellectual properties okay thank you now uh, third question which intellectual property is there in third figure there are multiple intellectual properties apple technology can you answer which intellectual property is there in figure 3 madam ma'am one of the student has answered third under copyright some have answered it as trademark okay so uh, can you briefly in one word write uh, what part is registered under which intellectual property like you uh, students are answering the trademarks so which part of this figure can be protected under trademark like there are certain aspects in figure 3 once there is given it as patent and trademark so request the students to explain what is patent and what is trademark in the third figure there is one more intellectual property which is there 
in figure three. Design. Yes, sir. Uh, so in figure three, you there are uh, three things. First is the shape of all the three devices is different, and color is also different. So this is the look of that device, and looks are protected under designs. Now second is the logo, the Apple symbol. It is specific for a particular company, and this is protected under trademark. Yeah. Now Apple phones are known for their technology. So their technologies are protected under patents. Patents. So I hope it is clear to everyone. Now in yes, fourth yes. figure, which IP is there? Madam, the students of EMS are having this subject called intellectual property rights in the SAM one, as well as the students of SRBCOM in SAM four. The students uh, and the faculties are also giving an. Doing your lectures, and it has been already informed to them that this very uh, name is uh, registered under trademark TM. Okay. Uh, so the faculties who are sitting uh, and observing uh, this session, they are ending the answer to me. Okay, okay, sir. But uh, I so, hope the answer will be right. Okay, okay, sir. The correct answer is it is what it is a brand name. Okay, so it is protected under trademarks. <coughs> Sorry. So, can you answer the next question? Which type of intellectual property protects the painting painted by the artist? Students, please hurry up. Uh, we have to answer to this question very fast. Uh, students, please write on the chat box. I would request the faculty also to please answer. The faculty who is with me also is answering in the chat box. Uh, Ujjwal ma'am, uh, I had heard the Lalbagh Raja's uh, the uh, the facial has been also been registered patent, including the Lalbagh Raja's Pitambar is also been registered. I also heard about the Laddu which has been given by the Rupati Devastan is also been patent. The vaccination and the in a syringe. Which the health teams are and the uh, thyroid care are providing for blood checking. They are also registering their uh, typical type of injections where they are taking out the blood. Normal syringe and normal injection they are both separate. Uh, there are some Disney Hotstar or like MX player. They are also registering in different aspects, including the classes also. In the Fortis logo, uh, because uh, I already now and then the it's an improvement. Ma'am, well, yes, now ma number of students have answered it as registered design. Is it correct? Painting painted by artist. So there are uh, five options. First is copyright. Second is GI. Second, third is uh, patents. Fourth is registered designs, and fifth is trademarks. So where do we protect painting? Painting is what? Painting is artistic work, and artistic works are protected under copyright. Copyright. So, correct answer is copyright. Copyright. Rohan Kanojia has answered it right as copyright. Even uh, Priyanka Prajapati has answered it as copyright. Okay. Next yes. question is: What protects the IP created by fashion designers? So, if some fashion designer has created something, where do he go and protect his work? Copyrights, designs, geographical indications. Patents or trademarks. Yeah. Madam, uh, the students as well as the faculty. Are also with me in this session. They are hearing this session. Some teachers are also answering, including the students. So, one of the faculty in the, with me in this particular dais is answering. Uh, so, what is the correct answer? 
I would request the faculty to answer rather than the answer. Madam, <coughs> the correct answer is registered design. Is it registered yes. design? Yes. Why? Because they keep on modifying the looks of the clothes. So that's why it is protected under designs. Now, next question. What protects the advanced disc brake for bike developed by the inventors? Somebody has developed disc brake. Earlier, normal brakes were used, but now disc brakes are invented. How do the inventor protect his rights? Students who are using the bike, you are aware there is a difference between the disc brake and the normal brakes. Please answer first. Uh, we are losing time. Students, please answer first. Madam Suraj Vishwakarma has answered it as patents. Yes, the answer is correct since it is a technological advancement, so it is protected under patent. Patents. Which of now next question? Which of these is a geographical indication? BMW, Patni Sari, ironing machine with stem, PlayStation, or WWW. Geographical indications, how do you detect? It will reflect the name of some specific location, specific part of her country. So can you answer this now? This Anyone can answer now. What is the correct answer? Person who is recording this uh, session, he answered as Paitani Sari. Yes, the correct answer, answer is? Dawlat Vatwasar who is recording this session, he had answered. The answer is Paitani Sari. What yes. your answer is right, sir. And Patni Sari belongs to which specific location? In Maharashtra and Paitan. Maharashtra, Maharashtra is specific location. Nagpur, I think. Paitan, Paitan. Paitan, you. Yeah. What does a trademark protect? An invention, a work of art, logos, names and brands, the look, shape and feel of a product, or a secret formula? <coughs> students answer first I would request for faculty also to answer this session the technical staff students we are here uh, the uh, recorded stage will be ending so soon but uh, the students are Confused to answer them because it's a totally sick. Some answers okay. that we have got let me go names and brand. Let me explain the question once again. What does a trademark protect? Uh, trademarks are given to which thing? Logos, names, and brands. brands. Okay. Trademark is what a company can get their product advertised. Okay, through trademark. So, how long do patents usually last for? 10 years, 20 years, 40 years, or 60 years? Patents kitne saal ke liye rights milte hain? 10 years, 20 years, 40 years, or 60 years? The correct answer is? 20 years. 20 years. If you write an original story, what type of intellectual property right gives you the right to decide who can make and sell copies of your work? Suppose you are a writer, then which property right will help you to decide who can make or sell the copies of your work? The options are copyrights, GI, patents, registered designs and trademarks. Madam, I am author of the author. Can I register under copyright as well as trademark? Sir, uh, trademarks, uh, it is not possible. Actually, it is a literary work. So, literary work are protected under copyright only. Trademark is something uh, which okay. is. Got it. Got it, ma'am. Got it. Logo or something. Got it. So, the correct answer is. Copyright. Trademark. Copyright. Copyright. Sorry, copyright. copyright. 
imagine a cricketer set up his own company to sell his own range of clothes what type of ip can he use to show that clothes are made up of his company now koi cricketer hai unhone apni company start ki clothes ki to apne clothes ko bhi unko advertise karna market mein so how do he advertise his clothes which property will he utilize the options are copyright gi patents register designs or trademarks madam the student named as uh, pallavi jadhav says trademark trademark any other any other answer some students have answered it as copyright okay any other so basically we have two answers first is trademark and second is copyright now copyright covers what things what aspects which are literary which are artistic okay and which are, do not belong to industrial field but here the cricketer is manufacturing his going to manufacture his cloth in the industry okay so copyright is not the answer now another is trademark now the cricketer has to do what he has to advertise his clothes so what do he do he takes the help of logos symbols or marks hai na so in this case he will register his work under trademark so the correct option is trademark ma'am some okay. students have also answered it as trademarks and registered designs so yes registered designs could also be the answer but now it is not the case because we are not asking about the looks of the shirt we are only asking about the promotion of the product so only the logos or symbols will help the company to advertise their clothes hai na jaise abhi hum koi shirt khareedte hain to hamare hame particular brand ka koi logo laga hua milta apni shirt pe so this is the same case this is the same situation so here the role of trademarks come into picture i hope this one is that <coughs> yes sir no 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 i think you i continue ma'am now next question if a company develops a new technology that improves its main product what type of intellectual property can they use to stop other from copying their invention now there is improvement in technology so which intellectual property will help the options are copyrights geographical indications patents registered designs or trademarks which is the correct answer madam any more questions or this is the last question real ma'am yes sir Is it, is this the last question or any more questions are there? This is the last question, sir. Okay, yeah. Then Ma we will find. Majority of the students have answered it as patents. Yes, the answer is correct. Since there is the technological improvement, then the answer is patents. So this is all from my side. I hope you have enjoyed the presentation. I would request all, I would request uh, all of them to switch on the video, uh, the persons, mm -hmm. and uh, I would request, ma'am, to. Uh, stop the presentation so that we can take this screenshot for our uh, uh, the uh, for this magazines as well as for our whole college website also this particular session. Uh, I would request I would request technical team to take these screenshots. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Technical team, it's okay. Just two minutes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, Ujjwal, ma'am. Uh, yes, uh, sir. If done, you, you are, have any doubts, no, madam, you are done. Madam, you are done with your BSc as well as MSc. You yes, had done your uh, JRF uh, from uh, the 
and you are net qualified also so madam in one minute could you tell me your journey sir actually i belong to haryana i am native of haryana then uh, my studies are from delhi university i did my bachelor's in chemistry honors from delhi university uh, then uh, masters from iit delhi then during the masters only i started preparing for net jrf and gate then in the second year of my masters i qualified gate as well as uh, um, uh, i secured good rank in uh, net jrf then i started preparing for uh, the government exams then at the same time i moved on to bed so that i will utilize my time accordingly and in the meanwhile i was preparing for the government exams and after i i was done with bed i got enrolled in uh, research also for one year in iit delhi then while i was uh, doing the research i gave this uh, patent exam and i got selected in it so that's all about my journey and i have been here in this patent office from last two years uh, i joined in 2020 uh, uh, in september due because my selection was uh, done in 2019 but due to the covid situation we were not able to join in 19 so it got delayed then we were here from madam since you are uh you are going through your uh, your examiner you are taking care of uh, the patents as well as design could you uh, because in the last few slides you have spoken about cefixin the drugs you have spoken about the betas madam could you tell me which was the last uh, designs which have been registered or the last patent whether it is a medicine or, or something new or uh, it is coming into the market sir actually we don't deal with uh, designs okay, okay. and sir uh, this uh, the thing that you are asking it is uh, field specific okay i can tell you about my applications which have been granted okay. like i got one mask that i was talking to you and that mask is very effective and eco friendly even the poor people which can't afford that much cost they can also buy that uh, mask and it has got patent and now the patentee has also submitted his commercialization that and he is very much uh, effective in utilization that uh, mask so that is what i recently got so being a examiner you being an examiner you check on the aspect whether it is useful for the society or not sir this is uh, actually we have to uh, scrutinize the domain which is called uh, inventive or novelty if we found that the features that the applicant is bringing it is not there in the public domain then we grant them the patent and then according to his needs he will commercialize it uh, sir madam uh, last question from my side then i am handing over the session to uh, my head of department assistant professor padma deshpande ma'am Okay. madam over being i am also practicing madam one of the college wants to register his name so is what is name of the college can it be okay. done can it be done name, name of, the, of college. the college yeah ma'am. no sir patents That's are given to the inventions not to the yeah. name of anything name of the classes no Coaching. patents are given to the inventions only service marks service marks are registered under trademarks so okay. for classes or colleges nothing can be registered so no. if that, if that type of application comes it gets rejected okay yes yeah. sir uh handing out the session to padma deshpande ma'am the head of department of department of pms of our college management studies oh uh, thank you sir first of all i would like to thank uh, the resource person Uh, madam for uh, uh, guiding our students and uh, today we came to know a lot about what is copyright what is trademark what is patents uh, well ma'am thank you very much for sparing your time 
and uh, under this national awareness program uh, it is indeed a good for opportunity for all of us to get uh, uh, accustomed and to get knowledge about uh, the different aspects of patents because these are very important uh, uh, issues which we need to understand and as a student perspective uh, you have uh, to told all the concepts in a very Uh, easy language to them uh, so that they can understand from the chat, chat boxes if you see they have tried to answer most of the questions that were addressed to them so uh, thank you students for your active participation it was indeed a very uh, knowledgeable uh, uh, session i would like to thank the management uh, and the founder principal dr jc kuswani and the iqsc coordinator dr kushbu kuswani for um, Uh, allowing us to uh, arrange this uh, session on the uh, live uh, in the live format in the on the youtube channel i would like to thank uh, upal singh ma'am for uh, uh, graciously accepting our uh, 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 invitation to be the resource person for this session i would like to thank all the uh, participants the student participants for your active participation i would like to thank my colleagues uh the teaching and the non teaching staff who have been actively involved in this entire session and uh, you all have helped us in uh, making making this session a grand success i would also like to thank the technical team for always supporting us and uh, taking care of all the technical aspects um uh, with this note i would uh, uh My colleague, Mr. Shah, uh, Mr. Professor Shah Sir, wants to say something. So I would uh, request from, from this particular uh, session, I like to thank uh, Sanjay Sir, Kandari Sir, who had allowed our students to visit your office, and uh, the uh, thanking you to the Patent Office, Mumbai, Wadala, who had uh, in the shortest possible time gave the permission and asked uh, the examiner to uh, to proceed with the session. Over to you, ma'am, for the concluding remark. Thank you, uh, thank you sorry for interruption sir i have a question yes uh, uh, how many students approx can you tell me have joined this session madam total <coughs> 248 students were uh, registered and uh, those who are live because uh, i am on the live session with uh, the cell phone uh, with after the session i would be telling you total number of students who are uh, watching this particular session okay madam, sure uh, sir i will share you the excel format sir only yeah, in that format I will. I am uh, right now sharing it. Okay. Okay, fine, madam. Uh, please share it on my uh, cell phone number. That would be better. So okay, okay, can... sure, sure, sir. And so I am leaving now, sir. Okay, fine, no problem. With uh, this, we are uh, uh, saying that this session is over. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, sir.